look, this is crazy, but when Webfleet came to us and they said, an Englishman, an Irishman, and a Welshman are gonna try to break a world record in an electric van. I was just waiting for the punchline. It didn't come. So the record we're trying to beat is 258 miles in a US van, and the range of this vehicle is 197 miles. What? Well, on paper, the van's range is significantly less than what we're trying to achieve. Okay, are you confident? 197 miles. Combined WLGP. Time. Are you I, ready? I'm, I'm completely ready. We're ready. It's very, very exciting. It's early in the morning, but we're ready to go. We're ready. Yeah, two minutes to the off, and uh, we're good to go. Fergal's going to do the first one to warm the vehicle up for us. Then it's me in the middle, and then Sam wants to be the person who drives it when it's running out. Who do you think of the three of you is going to have the best efficiency? Not Sam. It's definitely going to be me. <laughs> because Sam's a newbie. Uh, but probably, technically, because I think the, the vehicle improves over time throughout the day. And I'm the last guy doing the last leg. And then Sam wants to be the person who drives it when it's running out. So in theory, hopefully, um, we'll break the record and also be optimum efficiency while I'm driving. I think the thing we want to prove is not just that the van can go a long way, but, but how and why and what are the reasons for it? What, what, are the, what are the conditions? How do they affect the distance? so that we can help, hopefully, educate and let other people learn about what the art of the possible is with these sort of commercial vehicles. Basically, because we're going to use the sort of size, the efficiency of driving rather than the brute force method to break a record. My goal is to get over 300 miles, but my want is to get over 311 miles because that'll break the 500 kilometer mark. And that's a nice round number. But we know the record isn't going to last forever because all it will take is a better van with a bigger battery to come next year and somebody else might take that record. But it's about proving the point that we can bring it this side of the water and with a much smaller battery, so a much more efficient powertrain. So we've got 88% battery that we've got left and we've done 41 miles. So working the maths out on that, that's theoretically a range of 341 miles for this van. So far so good. The problem with this record is it's a distance record to do the furthest distance and the van will actually run out. So when that van actually runs out, we do need to be able to be recovered. So that's why we've got the AA, just for that last bit when we run out, to give us a little bit of charge to actually get to a charger so we can actually move on. Uh, so yeah, we are um, currently sat in our uh, vehicle, vehicle charging uh, Toyota Pro Ace. So we brought this vehicle along purely to, if, if we needed, then we can put charge into the vehicle once it stops. I think we're gonna park up for a bit and you know, sort of during the last lap, we'll catch up to them and uh, give them their assistance hell of a team behind you, the AA. Tell me about them. Oh, they've been fantastic. They've, they've looked after us when we've had problems as, through the setup phase. They've just sorted it all out for us. We did have a bit of a tyre issue. So the wrong tyres got delivered, so the wrong size. Luckily, we had the correct size tyres on our Pro Ace, so we ended up swapping the wheels over late last night. So I think we got to the hotel around about, two, uh, about 12 o'clock at night. So yeah, it was a late one. So we're just coming to the end of first driver stint. Mileage is 89 miles. For the record, we need to be achieving above four miles per kilowatt hour. Our average consumption is 4.7 miles per kilowatt hour. So the higher the number, the better it is for us, because that means the further we'll go. Which is ahead of what we expected. Three. So we're on track for a very healthy Guinness World Record. So we're going to drive as carefully as possible and break as little as possible and regenerate as much energy as possible. So I think one of the things is gentle acceleration. A lot of people who have EVs, because they can accelerate fast, do accelerate fast. We want to be going at a steady speed to match an urban environment because we're trying to prove that where these vans live, mainly in the polluted cities, you will be going at a lower speed, 20 to 30 miles an hour. But you don't need to brake if you plan ahead. You can plan the road and anticipate. Okay, that's my stint done, 120 miles, 4.7 miles per kilowatt hour. Next up, Kevin Booker. Yeah, well, the first loop is done. So Fergal's done his stint. Uh, we're over 120 miles so far, so it's all looking pretty good. Uh, we think maybe somewhere between 300 miles, 500 kilometers could be achievable today. But the weather's starting to turn, the rain might come in. So, you know, so far so good, but we've still got a little bit to work out. The weather is the biggest factor which will hurt this. If it was windy or very, very wet, tires have to shift a lot more water, your efficiency goes down. But we're luckily the weather's good.
Um, I've had a gentle drive up here from Southern Oxfordshire, nice and dry. I'm not sure whether it's me, and I, I do have that effect. Heavens have opened. Yeah, so Guinness World Records, they need a varied and robust set of data to validate and solidify this result. And the web fleet data, we're doing this in a sort of two-pronged attack. We have a telematics device that is delivering a position every two seconds and uploading to web fleet. We take odometer reading, start and end of trip, and we're also backing this up with camera data, and we are recording the entire duration of the attempt. We are time stamping that, location stamping that. So this really sets the bar for web fleet. So moving forwards, fingers crossed we break the record, but this really raised the bar and the challenge for someone to take it on thereafter is that a little bit more difficult. So we're really hoping for uh, good things today. We've now started the first stage of delirium where we can't stop laughing at the most ridiculous stuff. Yeah. It's also becoming Groundhog Day because we're seeing the same things again and having the same conversations we had a hundred miles ago. What do you want from me? Where am I supposed to put this leg? Okay, we've only got four hours of this. Yeah. 162 miles done. This safety belt's cutting the neck off me. There it is. Yay. 200. Yay. 200 miles. Just to, to note, we've exceeded the official figures of this van on WLTP already. It's still got a fair bit of the gauge left. 59 miles to the record. Uh, well, all I can say is a massive thanks to all the support we've had to get through this far. Web fleet for all the monitoring of the data and all the analysis to keep us informed as we go. The AA for being on standby and for setting us up with Bridgestone A-rated energy efficient tire. Everybody else that lives around the route that we've seen. And uh, so yeah, thanks to the whole team really for making it happen so far. Just finished my stint. It's a uh, bit on the stiff side now, driving for that many hours. But we've still got plenty of uh, life left in the battery. But have we got plenty of life left in us to keep on going? Yes. You're confident. You're feeling confident now, Sam. Well, I'm feeling pretty confident. We're at 20 percent, we think. State of charge, give or take. We are at 1827 on the clock. That means we've been in this van for 11 hours. We've had two 20 minute rest breaks, driver change breaks. Five, no, you, don't, you don't know when it's going to be. Three. Done two, it. Two, five, nine. Two, five, nine. Woo hey. now, now, how far can we go beyond the record that we've just set? Yay. Three hundred and eleven miles and five hundred kilometers, and we're still going. Knackered but exhilarated. Yeah, yeah, and relieved. Yeah, relieved that we did it. Didn't think we were going to do it this morning when we were on a dual carriageway going the wrong way. Yeah, and then it rained heavily in the middle of the day as well, but we got around that as well, so all good. We had we had some problems, but with great teamwork, we got over them. Yeah, well, we're already talking about what to do next. So uh, we've been talking about all day, whether that be really big things or even things on two wheels. So we'll wait and see. Right in the face.